Good morning guys, it's Monday today and you may have noticed last week there was not a vlog. Reason being is I just did not do anything. Last week was a bit of a weird one. It was just one of those weeks where there was so many things going on that it was just really busy and I couldn't film it. I just, whatever else I was doing was boring. So I thought I'd take a week off and come back this week because this week is our first week of freedom, very exciting. Have to admit, I've not really got any plans, so it's not gonna be much different to usual, but I think that this week is definitely gonna be, weirdly, actually, this week is probably gonna be more at home than any of the other ones because I'm not shooting this week at all, and I've got a lot of videos and bits that I need to film, but I have decided today to take myself shopping because I had a really rough night with my stomach. I was in agony the whole night because it was just cramping and it was really uncomfortable and horrible. So I thought, what better thing to do on a Monday than just take yourself to the shops and just have a little browse around and feel like a bit of normality. So get myself a little coffee, have a little mooch, not necessarily buy anything, but just have a little look around, see what's there and just have a day doing something that makes me happy. We've had a complete change of plan. My stomach is really hurting still, so I've decided I'm not going to the shops today. I am going to stay in and edit instead. So we've been watching Extreme Cake. Is it Extreme Cake Masters? I don't know, something like that. On Netflix, it's so good. Like the cakes are unreal. So we've been watching that all morning. I've got my little coffee. I've been doing some picks for some work bits and we're about to have a pizza, which is from a brand that kindly gifted me a few bits the other day called All Plants. It looks like this, which is so yummy. So it's literally just kale sun blush. And then I think it's like cashew cheese. So it's not actually cheese, it's just like cashew. And then a gluten-free base, which is perfect. And they also had another range of things, which you basically keep in your freezer. So really, really handy if you are someone who likes to eat healthy, but doesn't always have the time to like cook delicious healthy meals, especially if you work a lot or for whatever reason you just want convenience food. Like I know personally, for days when I can't be bothered to cook, these are perfect. Also for days when like, for example, James finishes work really late and we need a late dinner, you can just chuck them in the oven and they're really good. So this is the one I think I'm gonna have tonight, which is green goodness bowl. So it's grains, chickpeas, garlic, chili kale, and mighty pea and mint mash, but they all come like this in little paper pots and then you just pop the paper pot in the oven and cook them away. So. I've got that one in there kind of defrosting for today and because so I've got that one in there because it didn't fit in the freezer and then I've got a couple in the freezer ready to go as well and I actually had a nacho bean one last night which was so good so very excited to try this one out and I'll leave my discount code and stuff down below I think it's Jess S X 10 so like Jess with three S's X 10 is the discount code I think and I think it gives you 10 pound off your first order I want to say I'm not 100% sure but either way I'll leave the discount down below and I'll try and find out what it is and leave that as well hopefully you guys like it too I've seen a lot of people talking about it and I'd actually thought about ordering some about a week ago and then they contacted me so really good timing because I saw I think it was Nicola Hughes talking about it on Instagram and said that she really liked the lasagna ones and stuff so I wanted to try it anyway and I'm really glad I am because nothing beats yummy food I'm setting up shop on the sofa so I can work and watch the Kardashians because what else do you do when you're home alone and you've got videos to edit but put on the Kardashians and chill? I'm gonna ignore the state of my hair. The front bit was really annoying me so I've just tied it up but I've left it really natural today and I'm obsessed. It looks so nice and I used the Moroccan oil curly cream so I think that must be what it is because that's the only part that I've changed and it just looks really nice but definitely been loving wearing it natural more recently and trying to go between washes without doing anything. So I actually washed it last on Thursday or Friday and I haven't touched it since then with any heat and then I've washed it this morning and I'm leaving it like this today. Might do it tomorrow because I have a few bits to film but I might to be honest just do it like this because I quite like my hair naturally and just see kind of how long I can go without doing it again but I definitely think that I might start leaving it like this some days because I just really like it. Do you ever get one week between periods where you just cannot stop eating? I don't know what is wrong with me. I just can't stop eating. I'm constantly hungry. I think maybe because I know there's so much chocolate and stuff in the cupboard that I just want to eat it all, but I'm not even hungry. I just want food. Oh, it happens every month. I go through two weeks where... <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's maybe like 10 days where I'm the most grumpy person ever and I just want food constantly. Like yesterday, I was a nightmare. I was being so grouchy and grumpy and James literally just ran me a bath and came in and was like, what bath bomb do you want? Because you're doing my head in. Like, just pick a bath bomb. It's just like the PMS vibes. I don't know what to do. 
I was going to update you and say I'm going to have a bath, but half nine is very, very, very late for a bath. I did wonder why Family Guy was on, actually. I thought it was a bit soon, but there you go. I'm just going to make a cup of tea then and sit on the sofa for a bit longer. Maybe I'll read my book on the sofa and just, like, put something on in the background. That sounds like a good thing to do, rather than keeping the telly on. I'm going to do that. Something very cute and very spring appropriate has just turned up at my house from a brand that I rave about all of the time. So I feel like you guys already know what to expect here. But Flowered have sent me a really gorgeous bouquet in the post. And honestly, their flowers are some of my absolute favourite. If it ever comes to ordering flowers or anything for friends or family, without a doubt, this is normally where I head to now. And this is the fifth or sixth bouquet that I've had from them and honestly can't fault them in quality. They've kindly sent me over this beautiful giant white tulip bouquet which I'm going to pop into a vase now and I'm actually going to use I think one of the vases from their website so I've got this one which is tucked away under here. Let me just show you. It's just a gorgeous cylindrical vase that is nice and thick and glass. I want to jump in I've had a slight change of plan and I've popped them on the living room table because I think I'll look at them so much more there because they're in front of me when I watch telly and they just brighten up the living room in my house so much. So I've got them just sat on the table here along with my little neutral decor in the middle and it just means whenever I'm watching telly or I'm sat in the living room I can just see this beautiful giant bouquet of tulips. I honestly can't fault Flowered. I use them all the time like I said and I cannot fault them as a company. They are just the most gorgeous bouquets ever. Good morning guys. Today is going to be an interesting one because there is building work yet again outside my flat and as you can see I've set up to film. So this clip is partially to test how loud the noise is outside because they're really banging round. Like I don't know what they're doing but they're like cutting metal which is really noisy. They're banging concrete. I don't know what they're doing but it's so so noisy and I'm really hoping it stops soon because I need to get videos done. I've literally set aside today to work on YouTube, tomorrow to work on Reels, and then Friday, I think, fingers crossed, I'm gonna be going shopping, but if this noise persists, to be honest, I might just switch it around and go shopping today or tomorrow and just like make it work in a different way because it's just so loud. Can you hear that? Hopefully if I'm talking, because I'm talking, you won't hear it. Does that make sense? I don't know. But I've got my little outfit on. I'll leave it linked if I can. This is actually from Mango. But I've got a really cute outfit on that's very like spring appropriate. So this is actually from Mango last year. I'll see if I can find it. These necklaces I'll link as well because I get asked all the time. I'll link all my jewellery. It is in a highlight on my Instagram, but I'll link it all just in case you want it again. Belt is Gucci, one of my best investments ever. These shorts are really old mango, but I love them. I've had them maybe like four years now and I live in them. They're so, so comfy. And then on my feet, I've just got socks. And I want to grab my slippers because I've got the White Company cashmere socks, which I use only around the house. Like I don't wear them out or anything. I literally just wear them around the house as kind of like something cozy, but not heavy slippers. Cause obviously like socks you can curl up on the sofa, slippers you can't really do that. And I'm so annoyed because I have three pairs of them and the one pair, which was a Christmas present, have holes in and I don't know how it's happened because I wash them all the same on a delicate wash, like 30 degrees, really, really quick, chilled, calm wash, nothing too much. It's how I've washed the other pairs for like two or three years and for some reason this pair's got like four holes in each sock. So I'm trying to wear them with slippers at the moment because I think that might help the situation. Like it might make it so that they don't, get as frayed underneath or something I don't know because obviously when you're walking like I don't know if the pressure points of where I've walked on like my heel and the ball of my foot has like caused it to wear away I don't know anyway this is a very long waffle I'm gonna make myself a coffee and crack on with filming I think this needs to be a momentous occasion it's Tuesday no it's not it's Wednesday it's Wednesday the 14th of April and it's 10 53 and she's wearing colour. 
I can just hear the audience cheering now. <laughs> I never wear colour, ever. And basically, Mint Velvet, who I do like a long-term retainer with, sent me this dress over as like a, hope you like it, this is our bestseller, and I really like it. It's really cute. It's just like a maxi, like, floaty number. I'll leave it linked, because I'm sure some of you will love it as well, but I just thought it was really nice, and I thought I'd put it on to film a video, because why not? It is 10.53 and I'm going on to my third video of the day and I haven't shot a haul in about two months so I've got quite a lot of bits lying around that I wanted to do haul videos of so I'm getting all of those filmed now and getting all the like sit down YouTube-y kind of bits done and then tomorrow is going to be real day where I just film like all the try-ons of all this stuff just whack the telly on and just kind of have a day of filming reels and cutaways and all that kind of stuff. So today is the talking day. Tomorrow is the binger series while I try on a million different outfits day. And then yeah, exciting times. I've done four videos. My hair is now questionably tied back on top of my head and I decided it's time for some lunch because I'm starving. And I really, I don't know why, but the last like two days I've just craved soup for lunch. And I think it's because it's just like warming and cozy. And I don't know, I just really, sometimes I go through soup stages and sometimes I can't stand it. And right now I'm going through a soup stage. But this one is one of the Tesco Plant Chef ones. It is smoked lentil and red pepper soup, 100% plant-based. So, <sighs> One thing that really bugs me about soup is that a lot of them have dairy in to obviously bulk it up. Especially like, obviously cream of tomato or whatever it might be that you get. And it's really annoying because I obviously can't have the dairy in there. And these are really, really fab because obviously they don't have dairy in, which is great. But they're also really cheap. They're like 40p. And um, they're really good for you because they're just all like vegetables. And I mean, you know you get the little scale things in the supermarket. It's all green apart from... 17% of your recommended salt intake for the day. So one gram of salt, which I mean, I don't think that's really gonna be that much salt, but I don't know, who knows. So that's my lunch. And then I'm gonna crack on and film the house update video and potentially like another one to do with house stuff. Cause I wanna start getting more housey ones up. But let me know what it is you'd like to see in the house moving series that I can film like pre getting the house. Because until I actually start the mortgage process, obviously a lot of the videos are going to be more focused around other things because until I'm literally starting that process I don't really know much about it or I don't like I'm not going through it to give advice so that's going to come at a later stage but if there's anything you want to know like right now let me know and I'd be more than happy to do some bits on that because I'm thinking of doing one about living alone and one about um like just an update to tell you where I'm at that's going to go up in like two weeks time well, for you guys, it'll be next week, but um, yeah, I just feel like I need to give an update. Like I said, I keep being asked, so that is coming, but I'm starving. I can't think straight because I'm so hungry. We're gonna excuse my appearance because I have definitely just put loads of tan on and I look like this. Very fresh faced, very red eyed. I've noticed recently, this mascara is a bit harder to get off and I've noticed that I'm rubbing my eyes a lot more and it's making these like red, can you see like the red lines? So it's like full on dark circles and it's really frustrating. So it is, I think, purely down to me rubbing my eyes so hard, but I'm gonna try and see if I can use a different cleanser to get the mascara off and see if that works. But basically, what do I use? I've been using the Clinique, I wanna say it's called like the High Impact Mascara. And I use the Elemis Cleansing Balm to get it off and it just, I don't know, it doesn't work because I flitted between the Elemis Cleansing Balm and the Bare Minerals Cleansing Oil and neither seem to get it off very well. It just, it doesn't like coming off. It's potentially worse getting off than the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which if you've ever tried it is a whole experience to try and get off your eyes, let me tell you. But hopefully I can find a solution because my eyes are getting very, very red. But that's not why I turned the camera on. I turned the camera on to tell you about my favourite snack that I seem to be buying in bulk, which is mango. I literally ate half of this in the bath yesterday. Never normally one for a bath snack, have to admit. I don't know about you guys, like, do you snack in the bath? I don't really snack in the bath. But yesterday I just fancied, <laughs> fancied a snack, so I ate some mango in the bath. And then I bought another pack today from Sainsbury's because I'm just going through it so quickly. I think it's just like the sweetness of it, and it's also quite juicy, so it's really nice because it's just like, it just quenches the thirst, but also the sweetness. So like if I'm craving sweet, it just gives me that bit of something and it's like, mm. 
Good morning, it's Thursday and I'm so bad at singing. <laughs> Every day I genuinely just sing random sentences and I don't know why, I've just done it for years and it's just, it's just something I do. But anyway, this morning is the most beautiful morning outside. It is literally like clear blue skies, there's barely any clouds, the sun is shining, it is beautiful. I'm actually gonna open my little curtain thing so that I can see out. For anyone wondering, these are from Dunelm and they're like, I don't know if you can really see, they're like tufted, um, tufted neck curtains. Can you see this? I don't know if you can really see this, but they're really cute. They're very like bohemian kind of vibe. And I actually have three on my big balcony window because it's massive. And then I'm actually gonna get another one that's gonna go on the kitchen window and then one to go on the little that window. Because basically that is a great window. I love that it's there. But the only thing is, it's like blinding. So where my TV is there, if I've got the TV on, I can't see. So I'm gonna absolutely 100% be replacing that with just like the neck curtains. I think it'd be better. That was a really pointless little five second chat about neck curtains. But today I am filming reels and doing some Instagram content. So very excited to crack down and get bits done. I've got quite a lot that I want to get done. So first and foremost, you guys know, I think I mentioned before, I work long term with Mint Velvet, so I've got a Mint Velvet video to do. I've also got a couple of random videos that I just really want to get done. So I'm gonna try and get as much done as I possibly can today and hopefully find some like really good inspiration for different things. Like I know the reels I want to film and I know the pictures I want to take, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna try and get like three ways to style done, which it's like, three videos is 18 outfits that i've got to change into and then i do pictures reels and a youtube video of each outfit so i say it takes me like 10 minutes per look at least so it takes a while but we're gonna try and power through we're gonna try and get it done i've got ideas i've got inspiration i'm just gonna see what happens it's a good day to so have a good day it's my thought for the day my thought for the day is to have a good day basically so i'm making my coffee I'm getting my computer out. My computer, not my computer, my tripod. I'm getting my tripod out. I've got the bold type on in the background and I'm really excited because filming reels and stuff where I don't have to talk means I can leave the telly on and it's quite nice because then I've got background noise. Whereas if I'm filming me talking, I have to have it quiet for like normal videos. So very exciting and I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, what time is it? Quarter past 10. Ha, huh, great timing. Quarter past 10 still still fresh and new and exciting oh, shut up jess <laughs> but right cracking on cracking on cracking on how pretty do my tulips look by the way i think they look absolutely stunning there is a couple that are still yet to kind of come out of their shell properly but they look so beautiful i absolutely love them i might spin them around actually because this side looks a lot more open so maybe it's where that side's like facing the sun more who knows there we go first things first I've got to steam the bits that I'm shooting. So I've got my little Philips steamer here ready to go. I'll leave it linked because it's genuinely one of the best things ever. And I found this holds a lot more water than a lot of steamers. And it's also really easy to pack if you're traveling. So if I go anywhere, I always take this in my bag. Doesn't weigh very much at all and it just fits around your clothes really easily. So highly recommend. Have realized though, it needs a bit of a descale in a minute. So I might have to give it a bit of a wipe once I've finished because it's got a bit gross. But it's fine, I just use a bit of Viacil and it comes off no problem. And then when I use it again the next time, I basically just hold it down, let the steam come out and like rinse it through once so it doesn't get like Viacil and clothes and stuff. Hello, salut, bonjour. It is actually only half full. That actually rhymed, <laughs> that rhymed by accident. But it's really, really dark all of a sudden, so I've given up on filming for the day. I managed to do three reels today, which is quite good going when it takes so long to do them because I end up doing like pictures and YouTube snippets and stuff at the same time. So each outfit ends up being like 15-ish minutes, I think I said earlier, or like 10 minutes. So I've done that, all finished. And I'm about to have a quick Zoom chat with my management. So we're just gonna chat all about like updates and all that kind of stuff. Okay, no, we're having it at 4.45, ignore that. I've still got like half an hour, so I'm gonna get on with some editing. But yeah, we have a weekly update where we just talk about like who 
like what brands have come through, what I need to do this week, anything that's worked really well, anything I want them to do, like just basically a catch up and um, a way for them to just like keep me in the loop and me keep them in the loop. So yeah. Oh, interesting. I've just heard a message about travel. Good morning guys. I am very excited today because for the first time this year, I am heading to the shops and that excites me more than you know because I honestly have not been shopping in so long, obviously because of COVID and that kind of thing, but also like, it's just, oh, it's been ages. So I actually did pop to HomeSense last night and do a tiny bit of shopping just for like random bits and pieces, but we didn't really get that much. Like I think James got like caramel syrup and I got a couple of candles and some fake flowers and a salt lamp. Like it was very small things. I don't think we spent much at all, but it was just really nice to get out the house and like be somewhere different and like just be in a different space. But today I'm heading to Westfields because it's about, 20-ish minutes from my house driving which isn't too bad so i thought i would just pop over there see what they've got see what it's like um hopefully it's not too busy i'm thinking it might be because for one it's a friday and for two it's just it's just gonna be busy like everywhere has been rammed constantly i think like places like primark are just gonna be a whole situation in themselves but i do want to go and have a little look in there because they have a really cute um Disney like for the planet range which looks really nice so it's like um like prints of I'll try and put a picture on the screen if I can find one but they've got really nice like uh like t-shirts that have got like a heart that's like a globe inside with Mickey and Minnie and they look very like the Gucci t-shirts that they did um in collaboration with Disney a while ago so I wanted to have a little look and see what they're like and see kind of what's there very excited to have a look to be honest and just browse so yeah, it's gonna be really good. I'm heading off in a little bit. So it's currently 20 past nine and I'm just waiting for James to get back from the gym and then I'm gonna head off because he's not coming with me. He's going to work, but I need to wait for him to get back. Have any of you been to places like the gym or have you been shopping yet? Like what have you been up to this week? I'm intrigued to see how many people have actually been out because I was really hesitant I've not actually really left the house all week apart from going to the gym, which I think, like the gym is the gym. It's not like it's somewhere that's massively full. And I've only been going if it's like really empty. So I'll go at like random times of the day when I know no one will be there. And I've always tried to kind of be in spaces where there's no one else. So like going into different areas and that kind of thing. And then, like I said, I've not been to the shops at all. Okay, hair is done and this is what I'm wearing today. So I've got this little vest from H&M and then my Adenola leggings because I just thought I want to be comfortable. I'm going to chuck on my docks and chuck on a blazer and I should be good to go. Especially because I'm heading to Westfield and Westfield is obviously all inside. So it doesn't really matter about being cold because I can't imagine I'm going to be when the whole shopping centre is inside. I've got to wear a mask the whole time. I'm getting from the car into the shops. Like I don't really think I'm going to need any other layers at all and I also don't want any others because I've shopped before wearing like a leather blazer a roll neck and like jeans and stuff and I've been so hot so I think I think I'm doing the right thing here by just doing a blazer but we'll see um packing my bag in a sec ready to go so I've got like I've got two masks with me just because I thought they're silk ones and if one gets a little bit like sweaty or anything then I've got another one um I've also got my card and everything I've got two batteries so I can do all my oh my god I'm losing them oh no so I just took a battery out because this one was empty and I don't know which one is empty. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. But I'm packing them so I can get loads of videos for you. So if they're not up already, come shop with me's pending. Okay gang, I'm in Westfield and the first place I'm gonna go is Primark, which doesn't seem to have a queue. I have got here at like 10 a.m. so that's probably why, but it seems like everyone's just walking into shops, which is obviously really good because Ultimately, that was the one thing I was worried about, having to queue, but that's why I'm here early. So let's go have a little moochie moochie. Primark was successful, got a few little bits. Didn't get anything from the home though, because it, I just didn't really like the home stuff there. And like some of it was nice, but I just wasn't a fan. So got a few other bits. And now I'm gonna head over to Zara, I think. Just accidentally started my camera on the darkest setting. I'm wearing a cotton mask that I just picked up in Primark. So I thought it'd be a bit more breathable than the silk one. But next stop, I'm gonna go to Zara. I'm actually quite surprised because it's really empty today. Like there's not that many people at all. But I have come here early. Like it's only, it's quarter to 12. 
okay, Zara has a bit of a queue, but it's fine. It's nothing we weren't expecting. I'll be honest, the queues for the tills are actually worse than the queues getting into the shops. They're so long, so be wary. There is literally nowhere to sit, all the restaurants are rammed, so I've taken a little perch outside and I've just got myself a little prep to have. So I always go for the meatless meatball, it's unreal, it's a hot wrap, it's so good. And then I got myself some mango and a little ginger shot so I can have a little snack. But it's not too bad wearing a mask inside and it's not that busy, but it is kind of busy. Like out here is a lot more busy than I think in there, but I think it's because everyone's like coming and going from the station and stuff. But it's not too bad, just definitely need some food. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm done with my shopping trip. I have to admit, it got progressively harder to vlog just because there was so, that's all the bags. <laughs> there was so many um, people towards the end. So I got there at literally 10 o'clock and it's now quarter past two. So there for quite a while, I was there for all of like four hours. Obviously had my little lunch stop in between, but it did get really, really busy. So I'm glad I left when I did. I did pick up a little donut time on the way back. So I got the David Hasselhoff, which is Biscoff, obviously, what else do I eat? So I'm gonna try and enjoy this quickly before I head off, or maybe try and enjoy like half of it because it is quite sweet. So I think it will take me a couple of goes to go back to. But all in all, really good trip. Really glad I came out and got some bits. I will post my come shop with me and my haul and stuff at a later date i might use it as my two videos next week or something so bear with they are coming and yeah hope you love them but i'm gonna eat this now <laughs> i'm back from the shops i've got my pjs ready and i've already started running my bath because i am so sleepy after that little trip i think being in the shops after so long has definitely taken out of me i forgot how tiring it can be and i've walked eight and a half thousand steps today which doesn't sound like that much but i was saying to my friend earlier that i feel like when you've been out and you do things you forget how much energy we used to burn so like i kind of take for granted that like going to meetings and back or running to the shops to do a return or something used to actually be so much walking you just kind of forget when you haven't really been doing it for a while and it was just really nice to get out of the house and just be in a different space and to be honest there wasn't that many people there like i expected it to be a lot busier but it was really nice i really enjoyed myself and i'm definitely looking forward to a nice long hot bath now and just chilling out editing the vlog tonight watching some telly by myself and having a nice big cup of tea in my new pjs because let's be honest nothing beats new pjs and i also got a new essential oil from the white company which is the seychelles scent and i'm going to put it in both my oil diffusers so that when i get out the bath the house just smells beautiful and just feels really like cozy and warm and ah uh, i cannot wait i cannot wait and then tomorrow i don't know if i've mentioned it yet but tomorrow i have a lunchtime reservation at a place quite near my house it's like i say quite near it's kind of near it's not that near but um I've got a reservation for lunch which is going to be really lovely with my boyfriend so we're going to go and have our first meal out which is going to be lovely our first meal cooked by someone else in however many months and I'm really excited because it's a pub that does really nice like bistro-y food so good exciting I'm going to get in the bath I'm going to take my book I've nearly finished and I'm going to set my timer for 45 minutes like I always do and read my book in the bath I can hear the bath is currently overrunning I probably should stop that I always know when my bath is too full because the little thing gets all gurgly. But I think I'm going to pop in the remainder of this one. This is the Snow Fairy bath bomb that comes as like the big dog. So it's like a two-parter. You might remember in an old vlog I took out the rest. But we're going to go ahead and pop that in. Oh, I just took a whole chunk outside of my hand. Whoopsie. Oh, yes. Heaven. Love a bath. Oh, it looks really weird. Look at this. It looks really funky because of the fact that like it's melted around the outside and not the inside. Let's try and give it a little bit of a helping hand. Oh no, it's going to stain all my go. It's going to stain all my whoopsie. Okay, bath antics over. You carry on doing your thing. <laughs> Don't mind me just over here breaking the place. I'm going to strip off, get in the bath, read my book. See you in a bit. <laughs> 